This is an interesting concept, I think, like in the world of entrepreneurship, like whenever we jump into the entrepreneurial world and we're thinking about like, what do we offer? Like, how do we sort of um, lay our mark or leave an impression that hope the people will pay for? And it seems like the people who are doing really well, like yourself, not that it's been easy, but it's, it seems like it's been natural to you. Like you're, you're sharing concepts, you're sharing things that make sense to you and not that it isn't insightful, but it's, it's, it's natural to you. Then other people are being like, oh my gosh, like that, that, you know, like you said, they're quoting it back to you. Like it's really making an impression on them. Do you ever think about like that? I don't know if it's called it, if we'd call it like a disconnect, but like that weird world of this is so normal, but for other people, it's, it's impactful. It's extraordinary. It's something that I, maybe I would be willing to pay for. Yeah. It's, um, I forget the saying, and if I do remember it, I'm, I'm sure to butcher it. Um, but you know, when you, I can't even remember it, Blake, but it, it, it's something <laughs> to the effect of when you become an expert at something, you often, um, take it for granted and you, you talk about it in a way where other people, um, they hear it and see it and perceive it differently yeah. because you're so you're so in it, you know, you're so so then you can lose people at times and you have to kind of remind yourself, where am I and how do I explain this in a way uh, for someone who's just entering the game or someone that's a new entrepreneur, you know, especially when you talk to marketers and they can start jumping into like algorithms and mm -hmm. Facebook and SEO and, and all that. that yeah. Stuff. yeah. And they're speaking this language and they often forget that um hey you're 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 10 years ahead you're light years ahead of somebody that's just starting so slow it down a little bit um you know in in and you mentioned before the mic turned on my other show capital hacking with my business partner uh josh mccallan we um we often have to say like stop he stops me or i stop him and say hey no listener left behind let's explain <laughs> that concept that you were yeah. you know just 100 miles an hour let's go back and sort of like you know leave some breadcrumbs so people can follow along yeah, and Josh Josh has been on the show a couple of times and has always been a terrific guest. Yeah. Um, going he's back to something, of lightning. yeah, and he has <laughs> so many children, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's I feel on like every time now. I talk to him, it's gone up like an additional number. I'm <laughs> when like, you met him, I think he had nine. How? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is going he's, on here? <laughs> he's figured it out. He's, he's hacked, uh, you know, creating yeah. children. <laughs> and, and here I am, I'm drowning with one kid. I'm like, how do I, how do I do? You know, please help me. But so, um. You know, something you mentioned earlier, it's just, it's such a great concept, no like and trust. It, it feels like when I'm talking to business owners who like, they get the concept or, or they, they understand the opportunity there is with podcasting and with social media and digital content. But then when it comes to like the actual, oh, I have to, you know, I have to actually do that. Like I have to actually record for an hour. Like I have to, you know, I don't want to get my face on a camera um, it, it almost feels like there's this, like, um, man, I'm trying to think of how to articulate it. Like intellectually, it's like, okay, yes, I get the value of it, but then business owners, it's like, I just don't know if I want to invest the time for that. Or, or many of us know, like launching a podcast, like you don't, you don't launch your first episode and now Spotify is calling you for like an endorsement. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I mentioned you have almost 200 episodes. This podcast has, uh, by the time this episode is live, it's probably going to be 250 episodes. I mean, it is. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. But it's, it's, I mean, this is years of, you yeah. know, publishing. So help me parse those two things together. I mean, it's, it's great opportunity and yet it really takes intentional effort, right? It takes work. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing we do when talking to somebody who's a potential client or someone that's trying to find answers and if it's the right vehicle for them is time. Like, do you have the time and the passion and the energy to invest in this? Because once you start it, you can't stop it. If you stop it, then it it clearly won't work for you, right? Um, you have to commit to it. You have to commit, I always say, at minimum six months to 12 months to see what it can do. And the thing is, you don't know unless you do it. You don't know unless you try. Uh, as, as in with anything in life, right? Um, you have to at least sort of go through the motions and the activity and then start to understand, oh, this is what everyone's talking about. So yes, understand and know that there's a commitment uh, for you if you start a podcast uh, that isn't going to happen overnight. It's the long tail. You have to know that um, it's gonna do a lot of wonderful things and it is something that 
uh, is is tried and true for me anyway. Uh, there are people that it's just not for them. Like you said, they they're not comfortable. They're not comfortable in front of the camera. Mm. Uh, they they're very self conscious, whether it's their 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 visual or their, their mm. audio or something. Um, they have a and, raspy voice y- yeah, or Seinfeld. I, I, they're a, they're a I, low talker. <laughs> you know, I don't know. A low talker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A bit of advice for those who do want to get into it and uh, they feel like they could have the confidence or use this as a tool. A lot of people do uh, to build their confidence and and to get on the stage, the virtual stage, because, you know, isn't that the second most feared thing uh, to humans yeah. is like death. And then yeah. speak, I think public paying speaking, taxes is up there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, so I would recommend that you you practice, right? You You practice, maybe you turn the camera on, you record it. The challenge is becoming overly critical of yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to understand that your first episode is going to be light years uh, away and different from your 200th episode. Right. Because you're going to, in real time, witness your development, your evolution uh, as a speaker, as a, as a, as a thought leader, as, a, as, as somebody that can you know, bring their thoughts to the mic and the camera much quicker and you'll notice that it's helping you in conversations in having business co- uh, meetings mm. in, in, in negotiating with a potential customer or client your skill sets played out in a podcast is a tool for you to improve mm-hmm. right and whether they go live or not I, I think going live is definitely an aspect that um has power uh that that you can you can feed off of but Definitely. That's just one aspect, Blake, uh, that I don't think I've ever spoken about. Mm. Do you ever feel like you're, cause, cause I'm thinking about like the way on air brands is helping its customers. And then on the other hand, I think about like, like I saw an ad on social media that, and it, I mean, I'm sure Facebook knows I have a podcast now, but uh, it was some ad of a guy who was saying like, Hey, do you want to start a podcast? Well, you know, you could start a podcast tomorrow and be in the top 100 in 30 days. And so like, I see stuff like this, like, do you ever have a tough time, like helping customers have the right expectations? Cause it, it almost feels like as entrepreneurs, we're kind of battling against digital guruship, you know, where yeah. like everyone's putting out these timelines and they're saying, oh, I mean, you can do one episode and that's going to, you know, generate six figures for you. And it's <laughs> like, you're just like listening, like, where does this, but then I think I've met entrepreneurs who have, you know, they've bought those programs, they've paid for those programs. And then they're like, what the heck, why didn't this work? So there's two types of people, right? There's there's the person that wants to hack through life, right? They they want to do something in 30 days or less or 90 days or less. You know, I want to write a book in 90 days uh, or I want to lose weight in 90 days, you know, lose 100 pounds, right? That's a hack, right? That's a <laughs> short-term gain. Yeah. So you may get to that goal and you may lose that weight uh, or you may write a book in 90 days. You will kill yourself to get there to accomplish that goal. But the big problem is when you when you create a goal for yourself, you're not inventing the person that you need to become in order for it to have longevity. So for me, a podcast always is an opportunity for someone to commit to something and then experience the journey and understand and know and manage their expectations that it is not a short term hack to get to sales, to, to build a community. All of this takes time. So no matter what someone says to you, it is a hack and it is probably not going to work. Most likely won't work for you. And if you're that type of person that does dieting and you know, like these one-time sort of uh, deals and you jump in and then like you, and then you're like, why didn't this work? Or, you know, I, I gained all the weight back. Well, it's because you're not putting in the energy and the effort to become, to transform into what you need to be in order for, so like I'm listening to, I'm probably just quoting the book that I'm writing, uh, listening to right now, <laughs> which is James Clear's Atomic Habits. Oh, yeah. And he talks about two types of people where they're both, smokers that are quitting smoking and a person comes up and says hey blake uh you want a cigarette and you say uh you know what i'm trying to quit and then it goes to the other person and says hey you want a cigarette both trying to quit he goes no i'm not a smoker so the thing is you have to become and you have to embody and understand and trust that you are that person like if you're gonna say i'm gonna run a marathon and the thing is i'm gonna you don't people don't often say i'm going to be a marathon i am a marathon runner Right. And then that is the hack, but not a short term hack. It's the long term. 